2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. The Kings, as they came through the tunnel earlier on tonight, all set to give their Sacktown fans something to cheer about. Greetings, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for our latest presentation of NBA basketball. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry, our distinguished analyst, Allie LaForce on the sidelines. Allie, it's all yours. Thanks, Brian. Well, Clay Thompson asked what he thinks about when he's shooting. He said, quote, nothing. You want to have a clear mind, a free consciousness, and just let it fly. When you go with the flow, you're in rhythm, and you're not really thinking about it, that's when it feels the best. Brian? Uh, it's a thing of beauty, Allie. Thank you. The starters for the Golden State Warriors. All three shooters are out there. The splash triplets, Curry, Clay, and Poole. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Green. And for the Kings... Up front, it'll be Murray and Sabonis. Fox runs point with Herter by his side, and it's Barnes in at the small forward position. After a couple of injury-plagued seasons where they missed the playoffs, the Warriors have returned to their winning ways, and just how impressive has that been? Here we go. And it's the Warriors to start out. Curry with it. Poole outside. Pass to Thompson. Outside Curry. Thompson against Barnes. Wiggins with it. Shot clock at five. Back to Thompson. And count the basket. He was fouled. And he's going to the line for one more. Right, and getting Clay Thompson back has been a major Clay factor Thompson. for their renewed success. The uh, there's no doubt how vital Clay is to this team, but you got to give credit to their overall depth. I don't think Clay was fully healthy last year uh, at any point, so he's coming in stronger. This roster still feels like strength in numbers is in effect. One shot. And we think back to 2015, Grant. Clay Thompson with the best quarter in league history. Oh, B.A. 37 points from him in one quarter, setting an NBA record. Clay 13 for 13 from the field and 9 for 9 from deep, taking only four dribbles the entire time. Only Clay Thompson, guys. Now here's Wiggins to the middle. Here's Green. Count it. One for one to start the game. A tough, tough shot from Draymond Green, but he brings this out of his squad and frustrates the opponent. Back to Fox. About a minute played here so far in the first. And that one's good. Draymond Green. Green. Draymond Green making a good call that time in the open court. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Outside Barnes. Herter passes to Murray. Now here's Herter. Down low. And you can count it. He'll go the line with a chance at a three-point play. Uh, Sabonis fights through and around. Gets the end one opportunity. It was not as easy as it looked. Shooting for Sacramento. Demontis Sabonis. Shooting one. Free throw drops for Sabonis. Sabonis is a guy you have to watch closely in terms of how relentless he is. Trying to get in there, mix it up, play physical. He just never stops fighting. Now here's Poole. And here's Curry for three. They get it again. Green finds Wiggins. Good D by Murray. You're not going to see that very often. The defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. 
Fox. Oh, steps back and drains the jumper. Pretty nice looking shot there from Deere and Fox looking more comfortable. Curry against Fox. The kick out, Curry. Over Fox. No good, a bit long that time. The Kings have gone two of three from the floor. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. And it's Murray finishing it off. Well, Fox with the eyes and ears up that time. Good vision to facilitate. The Warriors have gone three of six from the floor. Pool outside. Curry against Fox. Outside Curry. Wiggins from long range. And again, no good by Golden State. Fox against Poole. Fox, the pass to Herter. Outside Murray. Pass to Fox. The 11-footer. Warriors with the rebound. Well, one thing the Kings got when they hired Mike Brown is a coach who's been through and seen it all with his NBA coaching experience. Poole, the pass to Green. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That'll belong to Demonis Sabonis. How about Draymond rising up into the contact? He's a good offensive player who finds his way this time to get to the free throw line. When it comes to Mike Brown, he's been an assistant or a head coach for six different teams now, Fred. Yep, that's a, a lot of different kitchens to be in B.A. And as an assistant, he's worked for great coaches, Greg Popovich, Steve Kerr, Rick Carlisle. It's a great group of coaches to draw upon and then add his own styles in and what he wants to do with this Kings team moving forward. He misses the free throw and watching Draymond Green play. Grant, he's the quarterback on both ends. I love that, B.A. Defensively, constantly calling out instructions on how to switch, keeping everyone organized. And offensively, Green is an incredible passer, sees guys get open before they do. And it's a completely new group for the Kings. That one misses. Amazing to think about Draymond Green and the career arc he's had thus far. He really can guard any position on the floor. He can make plays. Really a unique talent. And the Warriors pushing it up now. Draymond Green. With two hands on the rock. He powers it through. Totally in control. Protecting the ball the whole way. Outside Davis. Outside Mitchell. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. The first thing I think of when watching Davion Mitchell is defense. Mitchell entered the league as one of the best on-the-ball defenders out there. And no doubt, Davion Mitchell is an elite defensive guard. Why is that, Grant? Well, B.A., despite standing six feet, he's got a 6'5 wingspan. Mitchell is really strong and quick. But the biggest thing, Davion never takes a possession off. First one falls for him. Yeah, you know, after a couple down years with key players injured, it's safe to say the Golden State Warriors are back. Green's checked in for the Warriors. Peyton comes in for Curry. Both free throws good for Mitchell. The Warriors are back to contending for championships. Yes, they are. A testament to their perseverance and belief in themselves. They knew once they got healthy, they would be a threat. And they've been a fun team to watch as they get back to form. Now here's Kaminga. Back to Green. Just five to shoot. Kaminga finds DiVincenzo. From deep three-point range. Called in by the Kings. 
Outside Davis. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on Jonathan Kaminga. Third team. Shooting for Sacramento. Terrence Davis. At the line for two. And he can't get the first one. And that one falls. That puts him up one point in the game now. 136 left in the first quarter. Vincenzo against Mitchell. Outside, DiVincenzo. Over Mitchell. Rebounded by Lyles. And it's Sacramento's ball. They're on a 10-2 run here. Davis with it. Kuminga defends. Pass to Lyles. A minute four left to play in the first quarter. Monk against Payton. Unloads from 13. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. Hey, sometimes the best looks don't equate to points. Softly drops in the floater. When the player gets a feel for that floater, it can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard them and where your point of commitment is. Now here's Mitchell. And there it is for him. We've got 33 seconds left now in the first quarter. Outside Payton. Pass to DiVincenzo. And here is Kaminga. Now Green. Six to shoot. From deep. Monk grabs the miss. Now here's Mitchell. Shoots over DiVincenzo. One quarter in the books. And it's been a close one. The Kings on top. They're up by one. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in a moment. Fans, your Kings Good action already in this one. But a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play. And guys, for the Kings, what jumps out at you stat-wise? was simple. Rebounding made all the difference in the first quarter. They really got after it. Yeah, rebounding can also be just about will, and they showed some of that in going in there and collecting some boards. Well, you know it takes courage to draw charges. Guys get trucked all the time, and they still call a blocking foul. You think more of those should be no calls, Grant? You know, B.A., courage is the right word. If you're willing to step in there and sacrifice your body for the sake of That's the team, the you screen. know what? If you don't give them a charge, I prefer the no call. I like that idea. So on the floor for Golden State to kick off the second quarter. All three shooters are out there. The splash triplets, Curry, Clay, and Poole. Green out there with Andrew Wiggins. Pass to Curry. Launches a three. And that comes Stephen off the assist Curry. by Green. Curry's gotten himself on the board with a three there. You know, sometimes basketball is not all that complicated. Just let Stephen Curry shoot threes and get out of the way. Now here's Murray. Outside Herter. Second chance effort. It's rebounded by Golden State. I saw a green light there. The D's not going to get away with that kind of lapse all that often here tonight. The Kings trailing. Here's Fox. That shot off the mark. Excellent D there from Wiggins. 
Well, we know Fox is at his best when he's playing with pace, Brent. Yeah, he can pass and defend, but it's that speed that really tips the scales as to how much of an effect he's going to have in winning basketball games. If that three-point shot comes around, he's a bit more consistent. Wow, there's a whole nother level to the Fox game. Barnes, no good. The Warriors have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Green, the pass to Wiggins. And the Warriors miss again. For Sacramento, they've gone 0 for 4 in the second quarter. Poole against Fox. Pass to Herder. Outside Barnes. The three. Kept alive. Here's Sabonis. Oh, rejected by Wiggins. Oh, my. Wiggins saying, no, no. And there's Poole on the assist by Wiggins. Poole's got his first two points of the night. Sometimes it's simple. Put the ball in the hands of your scorers and let them do what they do best. And that replay showed how sensational that drive truly was. Yeah, and in close games like this one, B.A., you need toughness. Guys who will run to the fight and get after it. Now here's Herder. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. And it's Fox missing. Curry against Herder. Curry passes to Poole over Fox. And he sinks that one, Jordan hitting the Poole. back of the rim on the way in. Now it's a six-point Warrior lead. And just another weapon timeout, that Jordan timeout. Poole has in his offensive timeout. arsenal. Now a timeout by Sacramento. And after winning MVP honors in 2015, Steph Curry was even better in 2016, taking home another MVP award going back-to-back. Dallas checked in for the Warriors. Quarter number two and around three minutes gone by. Outside Herder. Outside Barnes. Just five on the clock. And there's a three-second violation. And the Warriors make some changes. Looney's checked in for Green. And it's DiVincenzo in for Poole. And you got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority. The Warriors leading. Curry finds Thompson. Back to Curry. Let's it go from deep. It's hauled in by Herter. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. To halt the run. And it's Fox missing. The Warriors have gone three for seven here in the second quarter. Here's DiVincenzo. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That one on Herder. There's another level to DiVincenzo's game. And it starts to happen when he attacks like that. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. So far, they've had a lot of success off fast break plays, and they'll probably continue to push the tempo as much as possible. Well, they've also done a great job of taking turnovers and producing out of that, working really hard that they're not wasting extra chances that they're creating. 
That free throw no good from DiVincenzo. And for DiVincenzo coming into the league wanting to prove that he belongs. He's done more than that. It's about building his confidence now. Kaminga he's checked in for the Warriors. Peyton comes in for Curry. Both free throws good from DiVincenzo. Well, a great player on a great role at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Now here's Davis. Now Monk over Payton. Offensive rebound, and they get it back. Here's Lynn. And finally, that one's good. Len's got his first bucket in this one. This guy's got a great nose for the offensive glass, and I like how he used those long arms that time to reach up, snag that rebound. Mitchell against DiVincenzo. Here's Looney. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Peyton's shot is good. Well, Looney knows his role, good at keeping the ball moving and finding the right man for the shot. Pass to Monk. Back to Mitchell. There's a minute 26 left to play in the second quarter. Shot clock at six. Late clock here. The Kings need to get one up. And it's Monk missing. Now the Warriors with it. Big run right now for him. 11-2. Here's Kuminga. And the basket is good. And now it's a 10-point Warrior lead. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. And he's the guy that you want to go to right now, trying to put this one away. Now here's Mitchell. 50 seconds left in the second quarter. No good off the back of the rim. The Warriors have gotten over 50% of their shots to go. Five for nine in the second. Outside Payton. Pass to Kaminga. Here's DiVincenzo. From outside the arc. Drills it from deep. DiVincenzo's got five points now in the quarter. Well, sometimes you run the two-man game, but nothing happens other than you having to make the play. Dante did it that time. Dante DiVincenzo. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your Kings. Davion Mitchell. Taking two shots. No good on the free throw. So the Kings making a change here. Lyles is checked in. And Golden State also making a switch. Green is checked in. And he sinks the second. 20 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Mitchell against DiVincenzo. Pass to Kaminga. Shoots over Davis. Kaminga's shot is off. And so it's the Golden State Warriors now holding a 12-point lead at quarter's end. They've had incredible success defensively, taking away good looks and pressuring shooters. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Guys, thanks. Andrew, this team has set the tone at the defensive end. What's working for you? Uh, we just got after it. You know, it's the main thing. You know, we just try to make them uncomfortable, test everything. And, you know, we were converting on the other side. It's all about the effort. Back to you. All right, good stuff, Allie. And we'll get back to the action at the start of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. 
This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. Golden State found themselves in a close game in the first. They did lead by as many as seven points in the first period. The second quarter was all theirs. Major uptick in offensive and defensive intensity as they did their jobs with precision. Now sitting on a comfortable 12 point lead at the half. Big fella, what's your take on Golden State so far? You guys know I appreciate your team picture. To attack in the painted area. When you get those high percentage looks, good things tend to happen. That's how they built this lead. And Kenny, what'd you see from Sacramento? Obviously, that was you. L Y. It's ugly. Shooting under 30% from the field, disorganized. Chucking up bad shots. Man, I'll tell you, they have to adjust their play, and they got to get better looks. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Boy, one guy who's getting it done is Draymond Green. I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. Yeah, this is going that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. Fox runs point with Herter by his side. Up front, it'll be Murray and Sabonis. And it's Barnes in at the small forward position. That's the group starting the second half for Mike Brown. Now here's Sabonis. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Sabonis has got his second basket of the night. The defense had the right idea, just the wrong execution. Sabonis, too powerful to be cut off. Curry against Fox. Hauled in by the Kings. Sabonis has got five rebounds in the game. Poole against Murray. Pass to Barnes. Outside Herter. Here's the three. That shot missing. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. And with Kevin Herter, I just love the plug-in ability of him as a player. He just can play some with the ball, a little bit off the ball, a good cutter. Lots of complimentary skill there. Pass to Herter. Fox outside. Now here's Barnes. The three is up. Here's Sabonis. And a good offensive board, and he gets the bucket. Sabonis has got seven points in the game. Sabonis has a great nose to rebound the ball, and then he just sent it back in. Poole outside. Thompson outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Wiggins. And the Warriors get it back. The three from Curry. The shot no good. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. And it's Murray, Murray finishing it off. Just great energy on the offensive glass. That's exactly how you cut into a lead. Boy, a slam like that is sure to give him a spark. It's stolen by Barnes. Poole against Herter. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Thompson against Barnes. And down it goes. Two points. Barnes so good at getting to that area on the floor and then making sure it counts. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. They're trying to come back in this game. Now, bottom line, it's about energy and effort. Exemplified by a possession like that. Now here's Thompson. Here's Wiggins. Over Murray. Wiggins, no good. More often than not, he'll cash it in from that area. The defense might have done just enough to bother him. Goes back up. Outside Herter. 
Sabonis in the post. Pounded by Wiggins. Shots good by Sabonis. They're doing the job on both ends. Getting stops and attacking offensively. Yeah, coaching staff probably loves this. Just grinding out defensive possessions, which is helping them get back into their offensive flow. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. And the other team is running all over them right now. The timeout before the timeout here. Maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit-chat with the team to settle down. Sacramento. Lynn comes in for Murray, and it's Davis in for Barnes. The Warriors have gotten just one of five shots to drop since halftime. Pass to DiVincenzo. And here is Thompson. Curry with it. Oh, they need this! Davis with a rebound. Not a way to get out of a funk. He needs to be looking for good, solid, more efficient shots. Not the wild one he took there. Get up there, young fella. Sometimes as a point guard, you got to take it yourself. Well, it's okay to be selfish when you can flush it like that. Well, if he's calling his own number, there's a reason for it. There you respect the decision-making from him out there. The Kings making a switch here. Monk's checked in. Kaminga, he's checked in for the Warriors. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. You know, guys, they say speed kills. And in this case, it kills defense. Fox just so quick with the ball. Outside, DiVincenzo. Pass to Kaminga. Back to DiVincenzo. It's over Monk. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Sabonis has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And with that quickness, Fox is so Two difficult minutes, for defenses to contain, Brett. Yeah, the one thing, B.A., that I love is when De'Aaron picks a tough angle to match up against because guys tracking him, they're going to lose a little bit of steam. And when he gets ahead, great decisions are made. Terrence Davis, the line for two. Shooting two. And it's tied up with that one. Mitchell's checked in for Fox. drops so now they lead by one Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third outside DiVincenzo pass to Kaminga back to DiVincenzo Iguodala outside clock at 6 and too long on the shot and it's Sacramento's ball some momentum a 15-2 run underway Davis against Kaminga. Up top, Davis. Pass to Lynn. It's Monk on the wing. Shoots over DiVincenzo. The offensive rebound. It's a bonus. The pass to Monk. Now Mitchell. He's covered by Curry. 
Sabonis outside. Sacramento again missing. The Warriors trailing. DiVincenzo, pass to Iguodala. Here's Kuminga. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Kuminga. Sacramento ball. Lyles, he's checked in for the Kings. The Warriors also with a sub. Green's checked in for Iguodala. The Kings have gotten six of their first 12 shots to drop in this third. Monk passes to Sabonis. Kuminga against Davis. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. Well, after committing a turnover like that, you're just praying the game doesn't come down to the last possession. You'll remember that one. And the Warriors call time here. Devonis Sabonis with a strong contribution so far in this one. And the defense has not provided any threat to stop him out there, so it should come to no surprise that he continues to attack the basket. There's 37 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Pass to DiVincenzo. Tries to snap the cold streak. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Curry's got three assists tonight. Sabonis outside. And that one falls. His fifth basket in seven tries. And Sabonis, no stranger to physical play. Looking to end this cold spell. And it's Curry laying it in. Curry's got five now. It's nice to see they're not settling for three-pointers. These guys are putting in the work inside. Sabonis right side over Looney. And at the buzzer, kept it. Just textbook. Kept his cool and waited for his shot. That's exactly how you want to close out the quarter, too, with some confidence. It's been all about Demonis Sabonis for the Kings. On the glass, he was an absolute tyrant, just owning the boards. We'll be right back with you shortly. Man, I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. The Warriors shooting about 41% on the floor for the Warriors. All three shooters are out there. The splash triplets, Curry, Clay, and Poole. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Draymond Green. Now here's Wiggins. Six on the shot clock. The three from Thompson. Rebounded by Fox. Well, the Kings shooting right at 35%. Not getting what they want out there. is the glass on the layup and the Kings lead by two Fox getting in nifty scoring there not hesitating inside and we just had to take one more look at that great drive and you know a close game you got to find that edge high energy plays like that one could make a big difference Curry finds green pool from long range Sends it home from three-point land. Three points. And Poole just deadly from three. 
Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Pass to Herder. Back to Fox. Holmes passes to Barnes. And here's Holmes. Green covering. And that one's good. Holmes strong and finishing through contact inside. Focus not shaken. Thompson outside. Now here's Curry. Launches it. Another three for Stephen Golden Curry. State. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. They're pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Now here's Wiggins. Thompson left side. And Holmes pulls it down. The Kings have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter to the paint. Here's Herter. The basket's good off the assist from Fox. Herter's got his first basket. A Herter also comfortable getting physical and scoring against the defense, not just showing that he shoots it. Back to Thompson. Oh, the bucket's good, and he'll have a chance Harrison at one more. Barnes. They'll pin that one on Harrison Barnes. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Their hot shooting from long distance has been the key. Space in the floor and rising up with that confidence. We probably have to touch on as well that tonight their penetration has been awesome. I mean, they put force on this game, attacking off the bounce, and a willingness to do that has paid off. That free throw is good from Thompson. Man, 941 days away from being on the floor. And that had to be so difficult for Clay Thompson. You think about his contributions last year in the finals run, and I don't think he was ever fully healthy. But it's so great for the Warriors in their trio to have Clay back on the court. And during his return from a torn ACL and a torn Achilles, Clay was his own harshest critic. Well, really tough to be away that long, B.A., and the emotions, the thoughts that go through your head about regaining your form, being an elite player once again. And that doesn't just come from you. you got to have a great team around you, and that goes for the Shoot physicians, two. the teammates, the coaching staff, and the front office to get Clay back to where he was in the finals last year. That free throw good from Barnes. And Barnes, one of those guys that every team would love to have. He just has a workmanlike attitude. Good on the second, so he makes them both. You know, back in 2010, Harrison Barnes was the top recruit in the country out of high school grant. Yeah, and interestingly, Barnes decided to play two seasons at North Carolina. Unheard of these days for someone with Harrison's pedigree. He drops in from range. Three. Thompson's got six here in the quarter. This has been their game plan here in the final period. We'll see if it continues to work out. It's one thing to have teams shoot a bunch of threes, but with this team being that hot, Defensively, you got to chase them away from anywhere near that line. Now here's Murray. Outside Barnes. Fires from deep. Warriors with the rebound. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Inside, Curry. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Now it's a six-point Warrior lead. Well, Clay is going to draw that kind of attention, and that's going to open up opportunity. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. Outside Herder. Fox for three. Parries it from three. Aaron Fox stepping up big time. Golden State has gotten three threes to fall out of four attempts here in the fourth. Here's Curry. Rebounded by Fox. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight, try to avoid the and one, and this time they're not backing off. Always impressive when a smaller player has a nose for the ball and rises up amongst the taller ones to grab rebounds. 
all those weapons and Draymond Green ends up being the guy hurting you with a huge shot. Timeout call. Sacramento. They're down by five. A minute 53 left in the fourth quarter here. For your 916 crew. in our New Balance Player of the Game, Stephen Curry. And he really made his presence felt on the inside. Just so active and looking all game long for openings. And he found them by scoring a lot of baskets by slashing to the hoop. Sabonis, so he's checked in for the Kings. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Hey, guys, I was able to listen in on the Kings head coach talk to his team during the break. He asked his players to really push the tempo. He wants to see quicker transition into the open court so they have the chance to score before the defense can set up, trying to use their speed to full advantage, guys. And Allie, thanks. And that's the reason why Sabonis gets the rock. He's just upping the end. With the 10-footer, here's Wiggins. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Curry's got six assists now in the game. Sacramento has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Here's Fox. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First personal Fox surveying that time. Hard to cover when he's got options. Shooting for Sacramento. De'Aaron Fox at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He gets the first. And that shrinks the margin to just four. And for a point late, Fox, handling the ball late in games, I mean, you'll be in this situation a lot. And both free throws good for Fox. And he's the one person that the coaching staff and the teammates love to see at the line in a tight ball game. You can pretty much bank on these. Now here's Curry. Pass to Wiggins. And he gets that one. And, and Wiggins wins. committed to help the team out offensively. Big shot. Here's Fox. Here's the teardrop. And the layup is up and in. Has got nine points now in the quarter. Now De'Aaron Fox stepping up for the team, showing he's capable in these moments. Oh, Sabonis with the steal. Barnes with it. Green picks him up. Barnes, no good. Golden State has gotten three threes to fall out of four attempts here in the fourth. Connects from downtown. He knows he's going to have the ball, and then you feel he's going to come through. He did it there. Outside. Sabonis outside. Cash. What a beautiful shot. Brings it within three. And Sabonis saying it's not over yet. They'll probably slow things down now. Burn the clock while you have the lead. I like that. Money. Steph and none better. Steph stepping up. What a great feel for the moment. Steph Curry. Bingo. And right here, they can't waste any time. Well, it's probably a little bit too late here, but you really need to score a bucket here to stay alive. Now a timeout by Sacramento. They're losing by five. 
And we've got 28 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. We've got 28 seconds left in the final quarter. It falls! Yeah. What a beautiful shot! Brings him within three! Well, this is when Fox is at his best. Once he gets a step on the defense, you're pretty much going to read the back of that jersey. And an intentional foul right there. First personal foul. Second team foul. Boy, you love how guys are making plays for one another here. Yeah, just a balanced attack, total team effort. Yeah, you know, you had to do that. I mean, you can't allow them to dribble out the time. Stephen Curry taking two shots. doesn't hit the first that was the one they really wanted he's got one more though and this is about as comfortable as Steph gets on the floor stepping to the line having time and wanting to put the lights out on his opponent and he ends up making the second and that gives him a four-point cushion Fox against Curry oh he nails it points now there is absolutely no fear in his eyes he loves the moment love seeing that they're a huge possession and he nets it yeah no choice but to foul in that situation although that's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line first free throw is good and that makes it a three-point lead. And everybody could probably sit down and relax because Jordan Poole led the league from the free throw line in the 2021-22 season. He should be money. And looking to even the score with a huge three. Now you could bet that's what they're looking for. This late in the game, they need that three. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. Fifteen foul. Shooting for Golden State. Stephen Curry. For two. He hits the first one, and that gives him a four-point cushion. A guy who hits over 90% from the line for his career. Curry trying to put his team over the hump here. So he gets them both. And it's a five-point game. Put a bow on this one. His composure at the line effectively ends it. From deep. Missed it. And so the Warriors take the win. That's Just a gutsy game. performance on the road. It really was. When this one was up in the air late, they showed how tough-minded they are as a team. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Ali LaForce, Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and our entire 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson signing off. So long, everyone.